Juno. Welcome to Juno. Now this looks like Alaska. Cold, rainy, wet, but beautiful. Day five breakfast. We decided to eat here. We decided to eat here at the buffet instead of the main dining room. Egg, candy pie, chicken sausages, biscuits and gravy, breads. This is an omelet station. I'll make you an omelet. We got bacon, spinach, baked beans, potatoes. Eggs, tomatoes. This is a ham bake with applesauce. Over here they've got fresh fruits and they have a yogurt bar. We have an oatmeal bar right here. Breads, donuts, muffins. And here we have a live waffle counter. Get yourself French toast waffles, pancakes all the toppings. This is my breakfast, that's Scott's. Uh, he decided he didn't like his corned beef hash or his eggs, so he went to go get an omelet. And I kind of recommend that, you know, if you want something that tastes like real eggs, unfortunately down here isn't the place to get that. So I would go upstairs to the main dining where they'll actually cook your eggs how you want it. Or you could go, or you can stay down here where we are at the buffet and order a live omelet, which you'll then get your eggs cooked in front of you, however you like it, and uh, omelet style. And uh, that way it doesn't taste like this sort of powdered <laughs> uh, cheese eggs or whatever this is. Okay, so. You want some fresh eggs, I suggest the main dining room or having them make you an omelet. A waffle and a pancake with some cinnamon sugar. So I'm looking at my map and I look up to the most beautiful sight. Look at that prettiness. That's something you put on a postcard, I'm telling you. Have you ever seen frozen waterfalls? Those are frozen waterfalls. So Scott wants to do some whale watching. So go see how much that is. Right this minute. Oh, we need some time. Oh, you need some time. Sir. Okay. Um, so whale watches here in Juneau, they're 100% guaranteed. So here's downtown where we are. It takes about 20 minutes to get out to Auk Bay. And then out here are where the whales are feeding. So the humpbacks feed in our channel for 23 hours a day. That's why we're able to guarantee them. Where are you guys from? Uh, Hawaii. Hawaii. Oh, well, welcome. You see, so they're just coming up from where they were just in Hawaii. We do have some that stay year round, but we also have some orca pods that are like in and out of the channel. You get out on a catamaran, they're covered and heated in restrooms aboard, complimentary snacks and refreshments. You'll most likely see humpbacks. You have chance to see orcas, stellar sea lions, harbor seals, bald eagles. You're two hours out on the boat and then you return. Um, because you're from Hawaii, I will give you guys a really good deal because I know you see whales. Um, are you interested in going to the Mendenhall Glacier at all? I am. Okay, so what you would do, it's called our combo deal. Here's downtown. You guys would go to the glacier first. I typically recommend an hour and a half to two hours out at the glacier, depending on what you want to do. If you want to do this Nugget Falls Trail, this is two miles round trip. It'll take you about an hour once you get out there and get your photos. It's easy, it's flat, it's well maintained, and there's a lot of signage. 
And then inside the visitor center, you can spend a good like 35, 45 minutes inside with all the great information. So that's why I do recommend an hour and a half to two hours. So from the glacier, we pick you up and take you down to Ock Bay so you don't have to return back to town. And then you'll do your whale watch for the two hours and then you return back to town. Yeah. How's the um, seasickness part of the... Um, the you're in this narrow way. channel and there is the cloud cover so there's not a lot of wind so it's gonna be fine. The catamarans, you're in this narrow channel. Um, I've never had anybody get seasick. I'm seasick like deep sea fishing and I've never been seasick in our channel. Okay. okay. So you guys should be good. And I know, I think you guys had a rough come up yes we did. and <laughs> you f I in, I've been on two cruises before I think you feel those like lulls yeah. more than on those little cats that are just jetting out you see a whale you go to the next spot you're okay. you're moving a lot moving more. a lot not yeah. just stationary yeah okay, okay. got a great deal. We're headed to, I think it's called Hubbard's Lake here. Yep. I think. Hubbard's Lake and, and whale watching. And then whale watching after that. Yeah. But the glacier first. Yeah, don't buy your tickets through the food bank. Save probably a thousand dollars. Yeah, we got a great deal. Go to the one on the end of the pier. Pier? To, well, I guess it would depend where you came off of. But when we got off, it was to the left, all the way to the end. And you'll see that in the video. But go to that. They get great, great prices. By 1944, they had pulled out $80 million worth of gold out of this mountain. And that's why Juneau is the state capital. Mm. And right in front of us is the famous Red Dog Saloon. And back in the day, White Earp came through town. As he caused too much trouble, was being escorted out. They took his gun, and that gun is still hanging on the left. It's the only place in town where there's wood chips on the floor and swinging doors. And if you look over to the left-hand side, past this red building towards the beach, you'll see our brand new $1 million whale statue. That statue is surrounded by a thousand, that thousand on a timer. When the timer goes off, it makes the whale look like it's shooting out of water. And that is a life-size replica of a real whale that comes up and down and plays in this channel. And his name is Taku. So we're made it to Mendenhall Glacier and we'll take the uh, whale tour right after. Oh, it's snowing. Yeah, there's some little things of snow. snow. up there, she said that's dusting from last night's snow. So we just got dropped off by the bus. There's a blue bus over there. We're gonna take the Steep Creek Trail, which is very short, to the other parking lot and get to the visitor center. So we're gonna go take a hike to the water. Beauty must fetches because be about thirty minutes, not too long. No, we're up there. <laughs> He's got to walk around because uh, his shoes has uh, holes in it and he doesn't want to get rocks in his shoes. I, on the other hand, and they're wearing boots and they're waterproof. So. I don't have to worry about that. Okay. Huh? Jump. <laughs> I wonder if I can do that. Without dying. I hope it's not good. So you can still do what it's there. Can you go swim out to the iceberg and touch it? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> 
Can you touch it? No. I know it's cold. I know, but I want to be able to say I touched the waters in Alaska. Glacier <laughs> melting. Oh wow, that's pretty cold. It's like putting your hand in a cooler for life. Yeah. Well, go figure. Wonder why. <laughs> oh, this is like mud, but it's super hard. Like, almost frozen. Though. Let's take a picture first. Or video picture. I'll take cool. a still from it later. That's not cool. It's as close as we're gonna get. Well, people think that uh, Yeah, you can do that. You can go in the air, but you can't get by foot. We're leaving now, headed to the goat stop over there where we're catch the bus. To our whale watching. Whale watching on this old rainy day in June. Yeah. As long as we don't get seasick, it's got cold and rain we can deal with. He'll be fine. Well, I get seasick. <laughs> Crab prices were like $75 for a pound, <laughs> and uh, I'm not down for that. So we went, came back to the ship, and we're going to eat at the Windjammer, which is the buffet. And you guys have already seen that, 
So I'm not going to show it to you. We're just going to eat and we'll probably head back out. I'm telling you, no matter how many times I see this, I'm not over that view right there. Stunning. There's a lot, lot of talking. Gosh. So much beauty in that. The hills are alive with the sound of Griswold. <laughs> Welcome to Juno. Oh, look at this. So if you decide not to eat in the tourist trap areas, there's these little places on the side of the tour boat. Filipino food over there. Did you see what kind like of food? Barbecue. Like barbecue. Barbecue. Here we got. Chips. Halibut chips. Halibut chips. That's different. So there's a different type of fish and chips. Clam chowder, Dungeness crab, and all the sort. So these are probably good ways to support the locals too. Be eating like these little food trucks on the side like we did yesterday. Look at this. Got some Filipino food out here. Din and Guan. Some more over there too. There was even a pho place down the road. Yeah. You can find all you the foods a, here. One of those... Uh, Pork and chicken sticks. Look at that. That looks good. Some fire. It's our boat. We get stopped by the Red Dog Saloon over here. Um, something about somebody's gun. <laughs> Do you remember any of the story? I don't think so. Who's Wyatt Earp? Wyatt Earp. I think he shot Billy the Kid. Oh. <laughs> well, we're going to go see his gun. I guess it was taken away from him and now it's on display over there. Yeah, he was rowdy. Because he was rowdy, exactly. We might grab a beer and then we'll probably make our way back to the ship and call it a night after dinner, of course. I gotta check my sidearm. Oh. My convenience. Here. There's a duck fart, guys. A duck fart. Right here. Hi, how are you guys? How are you? Oh, I think I can get the margarita. The Galatia margarita? Yeah, and also the red dog red. Sure. There it is, folks. Got a red dog bread. A red dog bread. And a glacier margarita.
Checking out what the Windjammer has for dinner, supposedly Chinese night. So here you go. Fruits, coleslaw, bamboo, they have bamboo sauce, the regulars, hamburger, sauce, hot dog. Bread and pastas over there. Yep, stir fry. Mixed vegetables. Scott wants to get ice cream, so I'm sure he'll start with that. Is that your tea cream? Nope. Well, I know you want that thing. Looks like a whole bunch of chocolate. Oh, I know. I don't want it. Beef and broccoli stir fry. Kung Pao chicken, pork shrimp, char siu spare ribs. And they got turkey, artichoke crepes, mashed potatoes, steamed rice, baked potatoes. I'll get the salmon tartar and I'll get the Asian style pork tacos. And the main course is the rack of lamb looks good, but so does the thing underneath it. Uh-oh. I'm pretty sure Scott's going to get the chest leches. I don't know. The game shows. Or the cherry yeah. jubilee. Cherry jubilee? That's what I'm getting. Cherry jubilee. That's my favorite yeah. ice cream. I, I think I've watched a similar show on other yeah, I don't know what I want to get. Remember the yeah, yeah. cheesecake, something. <laughs> Asian tacos. Mm -hmm. And I can tell already they're like, going to be really sweet. Okay. So, kind of different. We got fifth wheel into a like, training center. Like a, yeah, oh, oh. Wow. One of the first people we. We uh, kind of encountered. <laughs> Got the cheesecake. Yes. I would love some coffee. Oh, yes. Thank you. What'd you get again? Cherry Jubilee. Cherry. Yeah. <laughs> Cherry, yeah? Cherry Jubilee. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I was saying, yeah, to Cherry Jubilee. <laughs> Cherry, yeah. Cherry, yeah. <laughs> Select few will ever play the Super Bowl, and each year there is only one MVP. 